It is now our pleasure to hear from past presidents Judy Winberg and Joan Garson. Shana Tova. My name is Judy Winberg, and I am the immediate past president of Holy Blossom Temple. I consider it a huge honor to have been asked to speak tonight. The Kol Nidre address has always been important to Holy Blossom, and tonight is no exception. In the past, we've talked about our deep love and commitment to Israel through our purchase of State of Israel bonds and our support of the reform movement here in Canada and in Israel. These values continue to be important to us because they speak to our sense of responsibility as Canadian Jews. Tonight, the message is a little different. It should come as no surprise that just like at other synagogues across the city, tonight we're talking about health. Past President Joan Garson and I feel duty-bound to speak to you tonight about the impact of the coronavirus on our congregation. During the past six months, there have been dramatic changes in the global arena, in our country, our city, and in all of our lives. Through it all, we have watched in admiration as Holy Blossom Temple pivoted to shift vibrancy of congregational life to online platforms. We've had many successes. Through technology, our members have remained connected online for daily services, Shabbat and holiday services, virtual weddings and B'nai Mitzvot, adult education programs, and hundreds of creative and entertaining opportunities for our young children. Many congregants have shared that they have felt more connected than ever to the temple. Last week on Rosh Hashanah, we were transformed. This sanctuary that can ordinarily accommodate 1,100 people held only 15. It is because of the vision and dedication of our rabbis and cantors, our professional staff, and the board of directors that we have been able to share in these spiritual and highly meaningful high holiday services. The accolades and words of thanks have been coming in all week. To the clergy, thank you so much for all that you've done. I am pleased to report that membership numbers at Holy Blossom are strong. Whereas we had thought that there would be fewer families renewing this year, this has not been the case. In fact, we've welcomed over 100 new families, many of whom have never even stepped, stepped inside the building. What a testament to our good name and the confidence that Jewish families have in us. There is another side to the story. Just as we are all experiencing the impact of COVID-19, the temple too has been hard hit. And Joan and I want to share with you some of these realities. If Yom Kippur is the time for truth-telling, then there are some truths. The vibrancy of temple life depends on the loyalty and generosity of its members. We have only two sources of income, membership contributions and the voluntary Annual Congregational Appeal, the ACA. Before COVID, our membership was growing and the ACA was reaching new heights. For the first time, with our beautiful new facility, we were beginning to see revenue from rentals for special events. But here's the reality. While our actual membership numbers are strong and healthy, it probably won't surprise you to hear that there has been a significant decrease in the overall amount of membership contributions. In addition to this reduced income, we have had to bear the significant costs of COVID protocols, the reworking of all education programs, and the cost of live streaming. The impact on the temple's financial situation is very serious. We now estimate that because of the shortfall imposed by COVID, it will take at least two years to recover. Even with the support of the Canadian government and we hope support from local community organizations, the board has had to make some serious decisions, including asking all of our professional staff partners to accept two weeks of unpaid furloughs. This is a very hard year for the temple. Over the last 165 years, our congregation has seen hard times and we have risen to every occasion. I am confident that we will rise to meet the challenge as well. Let me speak personally for a moment. I am from Toronto, but I did not grow up at Holy Blossom Temple. As young parents, Jack and I chose Holy Blossom for our family. I am so proud to be a member and am confident that our financial 
support for Temple now is an absolute necessary investment to ensure a healthy future for the congregation we cherish. Thank you. Erev Tov, my name is Joan Garson. I'm speaking to you from Israel, where I am in lockdown with my Israeli family. We have just joyfully welcomed a new grandbaby. Although I am far away from Toronto, I still feel so connected to my Holy Blossom family. I too add my most sincere thank you for the virtual connection. In Rabbi Splansky's second day Rosh Hashanah remarks, she eloquently recalled our history and in doing so reminded us of the strength of the Jewish people. We too, the Holy Blossom congregation, are strong. We have a devoted membership who have responded time and again to the needs of our temple and thereby provided leadership to the larger Jewish world. COVID has been life altering for all of us. As Judy mentioned, the impact on the temple's financial situation is very serious and we must act as our members have at times of communal need in the past to ensure that Holy Blossom continues to thrive. And so, I am announcing tonight that the annual congregational appeal is being extended until the end of October. The goal of the extended annual campaign COVID appeal is to increase the number of families who support Holy Blossom this year through donations to the annual campaign. As of this week, there have already been contributions from 25% of us to each of these donors, many of whom were first time donors this year Thank you. The temple crucially needs all of our support. If you have not yet made a contribution to the annual campaign, we are asking that you do so right away. The importance of this support is inestimable. As Rabbi Hillel asked, if not now, when? We are so grateful to the generosity of those who have already contributed. May I be so bold as to ask you to consider an additional gift? There is no better time to undertake the mitzvah of giving, and it is so needed this year. It is a deep part of our identity as a congregation that those who can, at a difficult time for our community and our world, all take responsibility for our temple to see it successfully through the challenge. This is the power of our community. We are here for one another, to support one another and our congregation. No great institution can be taken for granted. Holy Blossom has survived and thrived because of the de dedication of people just like you and me. Please think very carefully about how you can help Holy Blossom Temple now to the very best of your ability. Step up to this meaningful mitzvah. Let us pray that we all remain healthy and safe until once more we can join together in prayer and song, shoulder to shoulder in our beloved sanctuary. My husband David Baskin and I feel we must act and we know so many will join us. The time to support our congregation is right now. Thank you and have an easy fast. <laughs>